Hello, this is Eric from labofcoding.com. In this video, we'll look at how to use pre-populated fields in the Django admin dashboard. Pre-populated fields, these are fields which are filled using values from another field. That is, Django will automatically fill the field using a value from another field that has been declared as the value to pre-populate from. So Django will use JavaScript in the background and it will pre-populate the field for you. A common use case for pre-populated fields is usually used with Slack fields in the Django admin. A Slack field, a Slack field is usually a field that is used to store a slug. A slug is a label for something or a text or something and slugs usually only contain numbers, letters, underscores and hyphen. So we will look at how to use the pre-populated field to populate a slug field in our blog model so if we go to a blog model we'll first have to add the slug field so we'll say slug that is models dot slug field and we can give it a max length of 100 next we can make the migration python manage dot py make migrations now we'll just use an empty value and then we can migrate to create the field. So we now have an additional slack field in our blog model. So let's say in our case we want to pre-populate the slug field from the title. That is the slug will be a slugified version of the title. So we can use pre-populated field to allow Django to do that for us. So if we go to the admin.py file in the block admin, we can add a field, uh, a dictionary known as pre-populated field. So this is a dictionary of the pre-populated field that you want to have. So you want to have the pre-populated field slug. And then, so the key is the name of the field you want to pre-populate. And the value is a tuple of the other fields that you want to pre-populate it from. So in our case, we want to pre-populate it from the title. So in this case, the slug will be pre-populated from the title. It will use the title to get a value and then have it as the slugified version. So we can save that and we can go to the admin. And we can add a new blog. So let's say the title is like make a new song. As you can see, as we are typing, Django is pre-populating it for us. Make a new song. Make the best song as the body. So we can save that. So if we edit, it will pre-populate it, but initially it was not pre-populated because these were created before we had added the Slack field. So that is how you can use pre-populated fields in Django. That's it for now. We'll pick up from this in the next video. Thanks for watching.